Today, I'm making one of my favorite dishes. Now, this is gonna be a fusion of a couple of different cultures, and I love doing that in my meals. I'm making corned beef brisket sopes. brisket. Brisket is one of my favorite meats of all time. It takes lots of patience, but it's also very peaceful and it's a fun process. Today I'm going to make brisket sopes. It's an open face, basically tostada, and I'm going to be decorating it. You know I'm a girl who loves her little accoutrement. So we're going to have a lot of fun with this recipe. We're going to get this out on the smoker and we're going to eat. So let's go. I've already trimmed this brisket. Um, you just wanna make sure that you get rid of the silver skin. And I kinda trim my briskets lean, so there's not really a lot of fat left over. Some people like to keep fat all around it. Other people like to trim their lean. That's a three hour argument. You do your style. I will not be judging you. Now, one of the things that I do is I use a binder. You can use almost anything as a binder on brisket. You can use mustard, oil, pickle juice. I've done it all. But the thing that I love the most is using mayo. Mayo has a high fat content and it doesn't burn that easily. So I love using it right before I put my rub on. And this just kind of protects the brisket. It's like a little built-in pillow in case anything happens. And we wanna just make sure that you coat all sides with it. Make sure you get the edges. A lot of people, their first brisket, they get so wrapped up into trimming it that they don't remember the seasoning is key because that's what you're eating. Now I like to cook my brisket low and slow. So I don't go over 225 degrees and I try to limit how many times I open my lid, how many times I check on the grill. I just kind of leave it be. I already know that this is gonna be a long cook so I have no incentive to keep checking in on it or looking at it. I just let the process be the process. So for this brisket, I'm gonna be really simple in my seasoning. I'm just gonna use some coarse black pepper and some kosher sea salt that's coarse as well. What you can do is you can either start by just layering your salt and try to go kind of high up. You wanna do it like a sprinkling. You don't wanna get deep in there because then you concentrate all of your salt or all of your rub, whatever you're using, you'll end up concentrating it on parts of the brisket so it's uneven. But the higher up you go with seasoning, the more uniform it actually is. And then what I like to do is I like to come back in. It's just like a little Tinkerbell, like a little fairy, a little brisket fairy. And we're just getting in there. You can alternate by taking turns with doing the salt first, then getting in there and doing a little bit of pepper or whatever rub that you like. It really is up to you. Just make sure that your brisket's coated. Uh, one of the things that I also do is I take an old shaker and I mix 50-50 of salt and pepper and then I use that as my sprinkler. All right, I've made quite a mess, but we're ready to go out to the smoker. I'll see you in a bit.
Sopes are traditional Mexican masa tortilla-like shells, and they're very doughy, they're very bready, and you can bake them, you can saute them, or you can fry them, which is what I'm going to do. But I love these because they're like self-contained little plates, and you don't have to worry about everything falling out or your taco falling over. So let's go over to the fryer and let's get started. So our sopes are done and so is our brisket. All we have to do is start decorating and it's time to eat. So I'm gonna pop a little bit right here, just in this one. Oh, that's so nice. The first thing I wanna do is grab a little bit of the brisket. Put that down like that. Oh, I can already hear the crunch. I'm so happy. <laughs> Love this. All right. Gonna take a little bit of my Mexican crema. You can also use sour cream. As much or as little as you want. Nobody's judging. <laughs> and then I'm gonna start decorating it. So what I have is some charred corn, some pickled onions, cotija cheese, and cilantro, but you can put anything you want on these. The more, the better. The more creative, the better. It's delicious. Love it. There we go. Put a little bit of greenery in there so that everybody's happy. Put a few little pickled onions. I mean, these already look happy. Like, they make me happy. I like this. Go. And then a little bit of cotija. Just the angel share. And there you go. Lunch is served. <laughs> Sobes are great. It's a type of tortilla and it's like a tostada. So if you're a messy eater like I am, you don't have to worry about everything falling out of your taco.